late. Late Better for late. an important date. We're always late. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Knitting Place podcast. It's February 7th. You are tuning in to Dinah and Pam. I'm Dinah. You can find me at the Knitting Place on Instagram, Ravelry, and Facebook. I am Pam, or better known as Pam Sap on Instagram and Ravelry, and Pam Sapiens on Facebook. How's that sound? Sounds marvelous. Short and sweet. How is everyone doing? Thank you for being so patient with us. Sorry, of course, we're always late. But if we said 5.30, then we'd be on at 6. And that's too late. This one? Focus? Do not disturb. disturb. Okay. We are in the house, as they say. Yes, in the house. (sighs) What's happened in a week? Oh, my goodness. What happened last week? I don't know. What happened last week? It was just a a crazy week. It really was. It was very, very busy. But you know, it's coming up now. We're approaching Valentine's Day. Diana had a birthday last week. So she celebrated her birthday. She went into the city. Mm -hmm. She met her family. They surprised you, right? Yes, they did. We had a nice dinner. It was lovely. Unexpected. They all showed up. I'm like, what's going to happen for 60? (laughs) If they did this. The groundhog, uh, groundhog saw his shadow or didn't see his shadow. Which is it? He didn't it's see a his long shadow. Winter. So it means six, but then six again, more weeks of winter. I don't even know how accurate. Is it Puxatawney, Phil? Puxata- but I heard there were two of them and one did and one didn't. So that really tells you nothing. <laughs> but I also heard that there's... It's I, amazing I, that people actually follow this. <laughs> I also heard that there's a day for it. I can't remember what it's called now, but it's the right in the middle of winter. I guess it's between December 21st and March 21st. And, the, and there's a name for that day, and I can't think of what it is now. But we hit the middle of winter sometime last week, too, I think. So if that's... Although I always feel when we hit March 1st, I feel like it should be smooth sailing into spring at that point. Although we all know we can have snow in March. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> March is a very uh, unpredictable month, but... Volatile month. Exactly, exactly. But it was cold Hello, last everyone. week, right? It was cold. It was cold. We had Actually. Groundhog's Day. We had Dana's birthday. Yes, and I'm happy to say that this week we're going to see temperatures in the 40s. Oh, we really? Yeah, warming up already. We have good evening and hello from various places Vegas, across the US, across the country. Hello, everyone. It is so nice. It's so nice to have you all with us. We have Michigan. We have um, Virginia, Las Vegas, Montreal, New Jersey. Fabulous. Well, speaking of Michigan, Baltimore. Sophie was supposed to come out for my birthday. Oh, there you go. That's she right. was That's stuck right. in Michigan, mm-hmm. not because of a snowfall, but because she had COVID. She's out last, I think yesterday morning, she sent oh, us Oh, is that text. right? She was out. She's out of quarantine <laughs> yeah. and she just felt like free as a bird. Well, that happened with my daughter's family. They were all home with COVID. Right. They, that's what it was. So my it's daughter cool. calls me Saturday. She calls me Friday. She said, I'm negative. And Saturday, she's like, I feel like I'm in jail. So did dramatic. She, did she feel like did I'm in you jail? Did you watch the kids? Did you take them? No, so? I did not. I did not. I did not. We went to <laughs> no we went mercy to the, babysitting. <laughs> no, we went to the store on Saturday. We took the kids to the store, and, and that was about it. Is that their first outing the entire week? Yes. Oh my goodness! All right. So they were hopefully happy to go back to school. Though I really think I said I, I, I can see the impact being in all week had on them because we were running sense. to the store and. And she didn't want it. She didn't want to go. She didn't want to get in the car. Out of their routine. Because so they're, they're in them. the household week, you know. I mean, there was some they snow. They went and played in the snow the previous weekend. But it's very hard for the kids. Who wouldn't want to be home with mommy and daddy? Of course, of course. So anyway, um, that's really about it. <clears throat> How have all of you been doing? Any news from you guys out there? I wonder if Amy is on. You think Amy is on and that she would... Uh, um, winter solstice is the first day of winter right but then you have there was a um, word there was a word for the middle of winter smack in the middle and i don't know what it was now if i heard it i would know it but we also have montreal in the house this yeah. is so nice mm-hmm. maryland who has a heat wave are you saying are you referring to our 40s a heat wave that's hysterical yeah i would probably agree with you there but i looked at the temperatures you know in the morning it's not in the 40s it maybe gets into 40 in the morning it starts in the 20s so it's not that hot. 40 is warm. 
compared yeah. to our no, 15s no, and 20s. No, no. That we've had. Take it from me. When well, you're standing yeah. outside for recess, it's not 40. Right. When they say that, it's usually like 32. That's true. And then you have the wind and all that stuff. So winter solstice. Yeah. Well, oh, we have something new. Joyce has three new whips. I can't wait you. to hear what they are. Good for you. Inspire us. What are your whips? Kimberly, I feel like the groundhog doesn't count because he knew it was snowing. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to believe that when there's snow on the ground, right? And they come out and they say, it's an early spring. Really hard to believe. We had freezing rain on the weekend, and now we have... Yeah, we had that too. A rainfall warning. Although on Friday, I will say they they closed all after school because that was unnecessary. To, totally but, unnecessary. But I will say, I didn't tell you what happened on Friday. What did you do? So we got out. Mm -hmm. I pick up my mother usually for Shabbat dinner mm -hmm. every Friday. She comes to my house for mm -hmm. dinner. Mm -hmm. Well, I get to my house. I get to my mom's. Now I call her to let her know that I'm on the way. She doesn't pick up. I'm thinking, okay, she's in the shower. It's her usual routine. And right, right, right. I call my brother because he was supposed to be out there, was confirming, was he coming? Mm -hmm. Wasn't he? Was he in touch? And he's like, oh, mom's probably in the shower. So I drive over to my mom's. Where was he? He's not coming because of the icy oh, weather. Oh, the gotcha. driveway, sheet of ice. Your mom's driveway. And I'm sitting there waiting, talking to him, she's not like, realizing that nearly a half hour has passed. Really? And then my husband calls me. And your mother's over there. He's like, where are you? I picked up your mother. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. How many I'm times do you ask to pick your mom up? Never. <laughs> right? And you Never. always end up, so you didn't even ask, and they picked her so up. So, well, of course, he's nice. like, well, no good deed goes unpunished, because I'm like, when do you ever pick up my right, mother? Right, 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 right. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> and what happened taking her home? Was she able to walk into the house later on? Yeah. I actually went with, I drove with Alice so that one of us could. There on either side of her? Yeah, but she ended up going through this. Um, she went through the path. No, her driveway was a sheet of ice. But mm -hmm. the interestingly, the, the path um, wasn't. The path and the yeah. sidewalk was not. So that's the yeah. way. Well, when we came home, everything was fine, but it was starting to get a little bit icy. Andrew said that one pathway to the house was very icy. Did you notice the trees? No, I didn't. Oh, I my didn't God. Breathtaking views outside my window. I the trees with that. the frozen rain. Mm -hmm. The branches and the well. I will Listening. say. Listening. Well, my neighbor was saying, "How come you don't have ice on your windshield the next day?" We didn't have ice because we came home at about a quarter to eight, eight o'clock, and I think everything had already frozen. Whatever had fallen had fallen. We didn't have ice on our cars afterwards. Anymore. Well, yeah. I thought it was interesting. Remember, you came to me in the parking right. lot. You said, "Dinah, I my, had ice on my, my car. car." Right, but mine was not. As a matter of fact, we went and had a bite to eat. We got back in the car, and it had refrozen again on my windshield. I really think it depends on where you parked. In the parking it. lot, it was unusual because my it looked like I had rain on my yeah, car. Yeah, right. And that's what so it was. So it was very yeah. different. Yeah, yeah. And yours was frozen shut. All right, enough about the weather. We're <laughs> gathering here today to talk about knitting. Yes. And yarn and fiber fancy. Believe it or not, it is a yarn blanket. Yes. Knitting blanket. Knitting. Actually, we don't have crochet today, but we don't exclude crocheters usually. There you go. What are you wearing? I am wearing, I don't know how to say it. I think I say it Chaka, C H I A K A, from uh, Midori. Is it Midori? Midori Hiroshi? Yeah. And I knit this maybe two or three years ago. And I used Kokan, uh, Aaron Waite. Um, and I just contrasted the navy with the white speckles and the white with the blue speckles. And Was it originally done opposite? I don't know. I have to look it up. I could look it up and tell you. I'm not sure. Very pretty. You used the Kokon. And we had gotten the yarn in, and I guess I'd seen the pattern, and I said, gee, that Very would pretty. look nice if I, you know, inverted it. So I could tell you in just two seconds, as soon as I get on to Ravel. I wonder if it's going to take me to I'm going to read a few things. Um, going to be in the upper 50s tomorrow in Missouri. Lucky you. Missouri. Nice. Very nice. Okay, Casa Pinka. Here we go, Joyce. She's casting on the Casa Pinka, the new man, the new one, Quindici cow, bean and olive sweater, and a headband. I love it. Good for you. Kudos to you, Naughty Yarnies. I'm declining tonight. What sweater? Oh, you're deciding. Excuse me. I need a new prescription. <laughs> Too many beautiful choices lately. I agree with you, Naughty Yarnies. She did do it. She did do it with contrasting. She did like a gray and a cream, a beige oh, and a right. cream. This right, is right, what right. Her... Jackie loves your sweater. She said you look so pretty. Oh goodness gracious! Oh, it's blowing out. 
Yeah, it really here. is. Over there here is, is good. There it is. So you see the gray with the white, the beige with the white. So when we had this yarn, I thought how nice would that look? And that's how this came about. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's very pretty. It is cropped. So take that into consideration when you're knitting it. Right? And the sleeves are a little shorter. I'm surprised I did them this short. That's usually not something I would do. The three-quarter sleeves. But you know what? I've, I, I haven't heard you complain. I know. Every time you wear it, you've never said I haven't really like complained. I no. know. Well, they're really fitted, which I like. If they're going to be short, they have to be fitted. But um, I actually, thinking about it, I'm thinking that I did make the sleeves longer. But who the heck knows? Maybe I didn't. You never know. I mean, That's some of them, pretty. they have... Um, I like the sloped yeah. um, increase, what she does. It's almost like in lieu of a raglan. Right. It's got the same type of raglan diagonal yeah. increase, but it's only just on two sides as opposed to four. Right, right, right. right. Very, very nice. cool. It's very, very interesting. Nice right. yep. wow. Anyway, so that was it. That's what I'm wearing. And what about yourself? What are you wearing, Dana? <laughs> I am wearing the Follow Your Heart Cowl. I published it on Friday. And thank you to Rebecca and Tanya and Kimberly for helping me with the name and the editing. There you go. All three of them received free patterns as a gift, token of my appreciation. And this is a heart. Uh, this cowl was dedicated or is dedicated to my dear friend Rose, who turned 110. And I thought for Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day, I would dedicate this to her. It's um, called Follow Your Heart because when I met Rose, Rose was helping me in a, another yarn shop, and then I ended up volunteering along with her. You guys know the story. If you haven't, maybe watch an older podcast. <laughs> uh, here, I'll read it. For my dear friend Rose, my friendship with Rose began almost 30 years ago where we met while she was helping me at another yarn shop. When I told her I was considering opening up my own yarn shop, she said, Dinah, I will follow you wherever you go. She gave me the strength and reassurance to move onward. Here's to friends who give you courage to follow your dreams in your heart. And that's what she did. So this is it. This is for her. Yep. It is knit in Weepaka by Big Bad Wool. Correct. Mm -hmm. We have some kits. And... I could share them with you. Mm -hmm. We are waiting for new stock to come in. It should be, I thought it was going to arrive today so I could ship out all the orders, but it might be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, this one here is Gray Day with, is that one Piggy? Just with Piggy. Piggy. And then we have, we kind of went with Valentine's Day theme. Right, 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 right. This is. Is it Night Owl? Night Owl with Stop. So that's a black and red. That's pretty. Nice Valentine's. Then we went with Night Owl. And this one is called Girly Girl, Oops. which is a brighter pink. Yep. More of a raspberry. I think what I'm wearing is more of like a neon, neon pink. Neon pink, right. And Miss Piggy. I keep saying Miss Piggy. It's not Miss it's Piggy. Piggy. It's Piggy. Uh, Piggy pink. So it's a little bit different. Yeah. It's getting blown out, but it's a softer pink. Right. Did you bring up the Fruit Loop? Oh, no, I have the you have it. It. And then we have Gray Day and Fruit Loop. That's like a corally neon. Yeah, it's a corally. Yeah, that's a good yeah. representation there. Mm -hmm. And then Pam has a couple to show you. I have a cream. It's called Bleached White with um, Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Birmingham. Very it's pretty. almost like a, um, a light violet or a light lavender. It's very pretty. And then I also have a navy. It's a pretty navy. With a color that's, was it violet, Dana? No, plum. It's called plum. plum. And that's called what? Blue, bluebird? Bluebird and plum. That's pretty. That's beautiful. It's coming up that's, nice. Yeah, that's yeah. a very good representation very pretty. Yep. of the color. Yeah, nice. So that's what I have over here. Okay. Those are the colorways we have right now. Of course, you're welcome to curate your own. There's a slew of colors. So I think, Dinah, when she did it, she knit it in two sizes, Dinah, did you? Oh, yes. So this two is different the, circumferences? Mm -hmm. This is the smaller circumference. I believe this is 20 inches, and I added an extra repeat if you want it to be bigger. I kind of like it nestled on my neck. Uh, and did 24 use, inches. You used three skeins. It's three skeins, two of the main color and one of the Country. accent color. Now, this is what I have left. We weighed the skein for you. 
So there are 30, we used about 16, I used grams. about 16 grams. So figure, on the smaller one. On the smaller one. So figure if you wanted to just pad a little extra, 18 grams, 20 grams, just to make sure you had enough. You could get at least two of the larger ones. And we were thinking three of the smaller ones out of one skein. Yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. So if you have a couple of girlfriends you want to knit for, <laughs> <laughs> there or you guy go. friends. There you go. You certainly could pair them with greens, purples, any other colors. We just kind of stuck to the Valentine's Day theme. Correct. And that's it. Does anyone have any questions? There you go. Um, someone is saying that they finished their Vena. Beautiful. Lucky you. Now they're working on their Cedar Pullover by um, Hohi Locatelli. Nice. Lovely. I don't know the Cedar Pullover. I have to look that up. Oh, my gosh. Greetings from north of Sweden. How amazing. Thank you for joining us. That's awesome. Super nice. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And greetings from Louisiana. This is amazing. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Let's move onward. Let's talk about whips. You talk about yours. I don't really have any. I have whips, but nothing of consequence right now. I'm in one of those in-between stages. But I has have whips. my test knit, which I shared with you last week. I actually hit the border, which is incredible for me. <laughs> I felt like I was never going to get oh, there. You did get there. Look at that. You got a lot done. I bound off to I the like border. That. Yeah, so very this nice. This is my jacket. Mm -hmm. And now the fun part starts. The sleeves. Because a lot of detail happens in the sleeves. So I'm really excited. I was going to really knit the sleeves first and then leave the body for later. And I said, no. Let get me. there because yeah, it was more boring, the body. Yeah, good, <laughs> exactly. good. That's what it should be. So that's my progress you so far. You have to know what you, uh, how you like to knit something, exactly. you know. Good. So that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then, you want to show them yours? What do I have? I you really have your... I was I showed you last week I was knitting the cowl for the olive. I finished it, but unfortunately, logist because of logistics, it's not with me. <laughs> so this is what I have. I started one for Lucy. I will tell you that um is this one bigger? Yeah. Um one was an 18 inch circumference, and that was for Olive, who's three years old, and it fit her beautifully. And I can't wait for those pictures. They're gonna be adorable. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it. She had it on for 15 seconds. You know, a lot of times they if you want them to try something on, they won't yeah. do it. Um, Lucy wants it in cream, which is why it's in this. I'm going to be using the same colors that I used for olives. Um, although she did say to me, this was Olive's main color. Where is it? Did I just see it? Can I show them this thing? Sure. That was Olive's main color. Lucy wants one of those on this cowl. Just one? Just one. Just one of the <laughs> so it's like find the gray dot. <laughs> That's kind of cute, actually. Cute? Like yeah, I spy. I thought that was cute. So these are the colors that they they both. Let me go ahead and hold those up. These are the colors. Um, there you go. That that are going to be on the cowl. I do have so a picture. So this is the Lulu cowl for those of you who don't know. Right. Pam is actually recreating it for you all. Right, and, and I'm doing it in a better way. She's we're and making it. She's sizing it, and she's also making it so that you're not handicapped by having to wait for the bubbles. Yes. <laughs> you're going to knit your own. Yeah, and it's really, um, I think what I'm going to try to do is, um, pictures. I'm just, I do have a picture of the finished one somewhere. I was going to try to, um, here it is. There it is. Oh, show it to them. That's fabulous. There's the finished cow. Is that good? That's, That's good, good right there. It's that's the finished cow. And that's about an 18 inch circumference, and it looks lovely on Olive, who's three. I, I did put it on Lucy. Lucy could wear it, but I think would be more Probably comfortable with, with the 20 inch. So I'm going to do a 20 inch for Lucy. And um, I think what I was thinking of doing is doing like a video of how I make the baubles. That's a good idea. You know, because I did the baubles, how I did the baubles and did the ends, which is really. It's very easy. You're not weaving in a million ends if you think you are. It's extremely easy. <laughs> so that We should, should definitely do that, Pam. That shouldn't stop you. Yeah, so I was thinking of doing that, and that's why I have nothing. And I'm also doing a test knit, which I can't show you. At least I don't think I can show you right now, so I can't show you that. And that's really where all my knitting time has been going. That's amazing, Unfortunately. Pam. Well, we have more international viewers. We have Norway, Ireland, Canada in the house. Nice. This is so exciting. Thank you, guys. Someone is asking, can we buy just the pattern for the cowl? Yeah. 
Samantha, which cowl are you referring to? Pan's cowl is definitely going to be available for sale on Ravelry. Well, yours is. Mine is available. It's yeah. called Follow Your Heart. Oh, I didn't show it to you. Yeah. Oh, I thought you held that up thing. No. There it is. It's not available on Ravelry. Correct. You can use stash yarn for sure. It takes a DK or Worcester weight yarn. Yeah. You're knitting it on a size seven needle for the body and the bottom ribbing. Is, is on it the charted or is it words? It is charted. There you go. Two charts. But it's not a hard one. No. It's probably a good project if you have just, you know, doing a chart or, or color work, you know, to start with, don't you think? It's a good one. However, you will be learning how to catch your floats. Right. So, uh, but it's that's a good fun. Exercise. See, I find that to be fun. It's a good exercise in learning how to catch your floats across both colors. So you're actually learning one, the main color catch right, and right. then the contrast uh, color. Correct, correct. Yes. And I also was going to say, I mean, it's something like when you do color work, you're not going to speed through things. I find that it slows you down. Right. Because you want it to look right. And you should always be checking what you've done correct. and checking the back to make sure it's not too tight because you don't want that puckering later on. That is correct. So show them that. So I have another whip. This one is the same thing. The same cowl, and I'm knitting it in cashmere. It's in the Clinton Hill bespoke cashmere. Nice, nice, it's nice. in the DK. Um, that is the DK. Now you see, the cashmere plumps so lovely yes. that that doesn't look like DK. I'm sitting right next to you, and it doesn't look like DK. I'm knitting it in red and black. What and size I'm, are you doing? The smaller one, and I'm gifting this one to Rose. Oh, that's so nice. I'm trying to get it done. I have to go. Pay her a visit. Definitely. We have some candy. <laughs> for Valentine's Day. got that Day. chocolate in the back too, right? <laughs> the, the dark Allison chocolate. gave us. Yes, yeah. that would be great. She loves her chocolate rose. Yes. So oh, here that's it is. lovely. Super cute. I can I just see Rose wearing that. I know. It's going to keep her well, so that's, warm that's, in the nursing that's home. That's basic black and red for Valentine's Day. So that's nice. one skein of each in bespoke DK. Now, we didn't make kits for that. No, but we but, can. But let's finish making it, and we'll know yeah, how much yarn you sure. use and all that stuff. And then <laughs> exactly. we, we can we can do an you can do an addendum on the um the pattern and put the include cashmere right. as one of the yarns. That would be a good idea. You know. Okay. Um, I was going to say that when I was at the store, you know, when my kids were younger for Valentine's Day, I would go to the you know a Rite Aid and I would buy them a box of Whitman's chocolate, mm -hmm. and they love Whitman's because Whitman's was a sampler box and they tell you what the pieces are. You know, there's like a little map. Okay, I have to confess, I was the child that bit into the candy. If I didn't uh, like it, I put it back put in it the back. You, you needed a, you needed a map. I needed you a whip. needed a map. So oh I was in the store on Saturday with Emily, and they had the Valentines. I said, "Oh, you know," and I still like to get them the chocolate, even though they're grown, because they still like getting it. You mm -hmm. know. And so I picked up a, a heart, and she said, but that wasn't the kind you got. You got the Whitman's. I said, well, we're going to find the Whitman's, you know. So she sends me a picture yesterday from the, she was in the store. Where was it? It was in Stop and Shop. I mean, I'm not talking up. about a fine. It's not like I'm making a, a Godiva chocolate or, a, right. you know. Just a basic sampler box. Just a sampler box. Oh, so I bought cute. four sampler boxes for the kids. That's hysterical. <laughs> very cute, Pam. Very, very cute. Speaking of Valentine's Day. Yes. I'm sure they won't see it that I said this. Lisa. I would bite and put back. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's funny. You but wouldn't bite and throw it out. You'd bite no, and put it back. put it back because I wouldn't want to waste it. We did not waste in my house. Lisa says, beautiful Lulu Cal. And I know, Lisa, that you want you want to do it. On the, I'm hoping that by the, by, well, this may be wishful thinking. I'm hoping that in a week it's done. Can you publish by Friday, do you think? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to push her. <laughs> don't worry, Lisa. Because I have to have that knit by Friday. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, and it's an, it really is an easy knit. It's <clears throat> a very easy knit. And it's it's You're it's fun. And it's lovely in this bespoke yarn. No, bespoke. In the wee packa. Thank you, It Jenny. is very wee soft. Packa. It is a great, a great yarn. All righty. Shall we move onward? Let's do so. I'm trying to think of my I show think notes. I should do this next. Okay. So yes. we've been teasing this for like since Thursday. Yes. That's a good place to start. So we did receive a wonderful, magnificent delivery of Kokon yarn, Kokon fingering. And um, we okay. received kits. some mini skeins. We received kits for the scout shawl. What else did we receive? It was a huge delivery. Yeah. But it was a lot of fingering weight. 
Yes, predominantly fingering weight yarn. We promoted Orbits last week. Correct. Which we still have available on the website. I'm just thinking. It's a color work sweater and fingering weight. Do we have them here to show? I mean, I know we went live and it's so Where hard. Where did we put them though? We it's just, okay. We were just organizing. <clears throat> I think we have too much. Okay. So fun. we have. We'll show that. We can show that next week. We have the Corellia sweaters. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It is also by Midori Heroes. And it uses the fingering weight yarn. Fingering weight yarn. And she's got some embroidery work, Estonian inlay technique. Um, Why don't you tell I think them, it's called Diana, what she calls it. Yeah, she calls it. Um, it's called Rusamine, which means rose in Estonian. And it's um, with the technique is called Rusitude. Rusitude? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but it's not color work. She, this is done afterwards, am I right? I believe so. It's yeah. embroidered afterwards. And they're using two fibers. They're using a DK weight, which comes in a mini skein, and they're using the chunky mohair. Yeah. So it's nice because Michelle at Cocon created these mini skeins so you don't have to buy a full skein. Of course, you can always stash dive. So if you just wanted to purchase the main body, you can do so. We, of course, created kits for you, so you don't have to think too hard. It's interesting. She says normally it's used for a very tight gauge knitting like mittens, but she changed it and she uh, intentionally worked a loose tension and she put it, put it's a chunky mohair she put in there, so it gives it a dimensional look. It's beautiful. Let's yeah. see if I can get you to see that close up. Mm -hmm. Do you want to start bringing out the sure. kit? Oh, they're on your side. Oh, sorry, Pam. There you go. That's okay. Excuse our coffee stain. <laughs> okay. So that is what I will tell you about it while Diana is getting some of the, the kits is that it has 12 sizes from two, um, two XL, no XL, extra small, two extra small, extra small. And small. So I've never a, heard of that before. A double extra small, if you want to call it that. Correct. Right? And it goes up to 6XL. But the bottom line is the finished bust is like just under 34 inches for the double extra small to 64 inches for the 6XL. 6XL. XL. So, and it's meant to be worn with four to six inches of positive ease. Correct. So it's not terrifically oversized. It just has a nice little positive ease to it. I'm not really showing too much here, but... There's the schematic. I really do like the tight cuff and the yes, little bit a of a little balloon bit of a flare. Sleeve. Yes, yes. And yes. it's nice that she's got 12 sizes here yep. in this particular design. So that's Correct. pretty generous. Yep. All right. So let's start. Um, so our kits, um, when we kitted it, we kitted it with um, four skeins of the main color, which right. will take you up to a size large. A size large, which is about a 46-inch finished. Now, clearly. Tell them, go ahead. No, I was going to say about the extra large size wise yeah. yeah the extra large is almost a 49 inch finished so the next three sizes after the large the xl 2x and 3x would only take one more additional skein of the main body was this the sweater that we uh pat patterned out that you could oh no excuse me no, you're mixing that up with the yeah. other one never mind so and it, yeah so if you wanted the xl 2xl or 3xl you would just need to add one more skein of the a main la color, a la carte, um, and do it that way. I mean, if I were going to make it, probably I would make the, um, I guess, make the, the three. I could, it depends how much positive ease I want. You know, I could do the 43 and a quarter or the 45 and three quarters. Because that would be fitting. But I, I might be, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> so it's anyway. a beautiful sweater. I really do like the um, the sleeves. Balloon sleeve. You kind of see the detail. You can right see where she's holding it, her arm up there. Okay, yeah. Right here yeah. on this side. Right. And regardless of what size you're doing, it takes the same amount of minis in the. Um, Across all sizes? Yep. Nice. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'm going to start. Okay. So for the main color, we have Daybreak, which is a beautiful. It's almost like a light, very light lavender pink. pink color. Yep. And then I have that paired with Smoke. And cress. So cress would be the inside of the flower, and the leaves or the vine would be the smoke. Right. There it is. So there you see the contrast. Very pretty. That is pretty. And if you're not sure about the colors, you can always look at look at them on the website. They're going to be a little bit more accurate in case right. the coloring doesn't look that great here. 
can I put, get in here? Okay. This one lo most resembles the pattern. Correct. Uh, this one is called Matter. I love this color. Gold for the center of the flower. And now she called for leaf, but for some reason we think it's more like moon. Yeah, the leaf was too green. It was very green. Yeah. So we put moon with it. And of course, if there's a color that you like or want to exchange, we'd sure, be happy to do, do that. that as well, too. Mm -hmm. uh, next up is this is pretty. Fog. And we have that with cress and leaf. It's pretty. It's like so a green. Yep. Yes. There you go. So Perfect. that'll really pop lovely against the mm -hmm. background of the fog. Mm -hmm. And then we have this lovely color. My face is so dry. It's itchy. Really? Yep. This one I think is called smoke. Is that right? Mm, no, cosmos. cosmos. That's a beautiful base. So that's the cosmos. And then we paired that with clay for the center of the flower. I like clay. And then we put that with matter. Oh, I love that that's matter gorgeous. color. That matter is a great color. Oh, that's a beautiful kit. The next one coming up, I love that color also. The kits are well, I think they're reasonably priced. I have to say for a sweater. Right. Well, of course, it also depends on you. I mean, this is called space. Night. Night. This is called night. Look at that color. <gasps> that's beautiful. what color? And like a dark earthy chocolate brown. Like it's not a even black brown. It's almost like it's not milk chocolate, but bittersweet. Oh, bittersweet. Yeah. Super and gorgeous. we paired that with step. Yep. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And then this one is moon. Oh, that's pretty. So you can see that very yeah. soft in the yolk. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, now we have lots of colors in the cocon thing. We we just made about six kits, right? Right. Diana? If you want a baby pink. A light coral for the base, a light green. Mm -hmm. uh, next up is C, which is a beautiful navy. Oh, that's a pretty color. And With we have matter. And is that clay for the center? Yep, matter and clay. There you go. Love this combo. Yeah, that's a great. It's a great blue. It's got a kind of a vibrancy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not too too dark. Super elegant. So that is pretty. So those are beautiful kits that we promised for Corellia. Mm -hmm. Just gonna put that over there. Yeah. And um, yeah, and those that's really, I think you have all the information that you would need to know for that. Right? Yeah. I think we'll move on. Yep. We have some scout shawl kits also from Kokan. Yeah, that, right? Yes. Designed by Florence Bowling Designs. Do you want to pull it up on your phone? I don't think I have a coach there. Uh, we have these beautiful hand-dyed bags that come with every kit. Super pretty. This colorway, I forgot the name of the colors. Shoot. I know this one is called... One is Seabreeze, but we're out of that one. Seabreeze is out. <laughs> of course, I remember that. I'll show you the colors. This has got the brown and like a dusty lavender purpley palette. Very pretty, neutral, absolutely gorgeous. And this you get the three bags show. with it. So she does color work in Tarja. Look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to show you another picture where it's across the back. It's a crescent-shaped shawl, which right. is really pretty. I believe that she hosts classes. We haven't signed her up yet to do any classes here, but we're thinking about doing that so far. I've had one person express an interest, so we're thinking about doing that. This is the beautiful hand-dyed bag that kind of matches the palette to the and kit. This gives you an idea of the shape of the shawl. Yes. It's crescent. I think it's knit from tip to tip. I don't know what colorway this is. Is this the colorway that we have, Donna? I'm not even uh, sure. That might resemble umber, which is this next colorway that I'm going to show you. But it's very lovely. It's almost like a patchwork of of um, stranded work, right? Yes. The yarn that it's dyed on is merino linen. I don't know if you want to read the fabric dial. Is it 90? Um, it's 90 merino, 90, 10 linen. Yeah. Yes, 90, 10, right? And the colors? These are the colors that probably resemble the kit that you... Stone, copper, and I don't know what the other ones are. It doesn't make a difference. It's a kit. Cork, rust, and ice. Very pretty. Very pretty. I think you take two colors, high contrast, and then you pair them along. Mm -hmm. And that's how you do the color work. It's very pretty. It's pretty. And it comes, you show them the bag it comes and with. And then this one has this bag. Yeah. Pretty. 
And then one last kit. I think this one doesn't have the purple in it. <clears throat> this is more of like a greeny hue. Oh, that's pretty. That's nice. Oh. There you go. It's got browns and like, what would you call that green? Like a celadon? It's like a celadon. Yep. Very pretty. Yep. Nice. So that's what we have from Kokon. Super excited to have that delivery. Mm -hmm. You guys cleaned us out of the Elven shawl. I'm afraid I don't have any more. Well, words. I was going to say before, and I'm terrible with the names, especially with this, I don't remember. But, you know, we, from time to time, do get in these kits that she curates, Kokon. Yes. Like the Elven shawl. And I can't remember the other ones now. We've remember had the blue one that we just had? The little one? stitches. Right. Is that little stitches? Yeah, yeah. Do we have any more of those? We may have some of those. You can always check online on the kits. Uh, I love doing the kits with Michelle. She does yeah, a fabulous job. Yeah, well, it's so nice job. because she, you know, especially when they put it in the bag. That's lovely. She has a story. It's mm -hmm. always themed. It's always. Um, we do. We do have a little stitch. We do. That's also designed by Florence Sperling Designs. That's pretty much. So we'll show them the bag. The bag is fabulous. See how it's like petite? It's beautiful. Yeah. And I believe this is hand dyed in the Cocom blue. It looks like my sweater. Yes. <laughs> So this is Cocom blue. And you get the speckled in the dark blue and the white with the blue. And then you get this grouping of minis. A bundle of minis to How do How cute the is that? And it's called what? I little think the little stitches? stitches shawl. I don't have a picture to show you. Or, but I mean, I that's available. All, um, all of her shawls are available on Ravelry. So if you are inspired, you can always just buy the shawl, um, pattern. Mm -hmm. You certainly don't need to get the kit. And that's it for Florence Sperling Designs. Exactly. All right. And we, well, I'm not going to say that. Do you want us to mention this now? Sure. Or this? This or this? Doesn't matter. We have a new color for, from Spin Cycle. Uh, we got a second delivery. We're not going to bore you with all the colors, but they did release a brand new color, and this one is called Light Years. We may have showed it to you last week on Friday if you joined our live. Mm -hmm. We curated new. A few new shift kits. cowls. We've sold a few of them. Yes. But um, this one, I'm just looking at the names. Nebuary. It's a great colorway. Nostalgia and Lapis. Yeah. I think Andrea Mowry is coming out with a new sweater. Did you guys see that? Yes. Is tomorrow. that this? Is tomorrow? tomorrow? It's Tuesday. We're and this is, it. so we made some shift kits. And uh, because shift always continues to be so popular. And it's such a fun knit to watch the colors change. So it's Lapis. Nostalgia and February. Not to mention every di dialogue that comes in is different. Right. So it's, it's always, always different. Going to be it's different. always different. Here, yeah, Diane, you can show this one. Thank you. This one is called Castaway Melancholia. And then we have the new color in there, Light Years. It's like Buzz Lightyear. Very pretty. That's a pretty one. And this is a nice, uh, it's Grumpy Birds, Shades of Earth, and Salty Dog. How pretty is that? Okay. Susan is asking, will you have the Kokon for the Dottie slip over the new vest pattern done in Kokon? I haven't Dottie. gotten there yet. I've heard of that. Which one is it? it sounds so familiar. Hold to on, me. Susan. We have to check. <laughs> We're getting another small delivery from her, so maybe it'll be in there. Uh Summer saying so what sorry. Is it? What is it called? Dottie? Dottie. Dottie slip over by Kokon. She had posted it. Yeah, it sounds, I don't know, it sounds like I saw it somewhere. Someone is asking, oh, Jackie, what are you referring to? A class in what? And then Meryl said, me too. Oh, okay, how cute. They're interested in the class. <laughs> the vest. Maybe you are getting that. Oh, is that the cotton? It's Aaron White. It's Coco Aaron, Aaron, Aaron White. And, and, so Premier. and it's got a mohair with it. It's got a mohair with it. Yep. Very pretty, Susan. So if anyone wants to see what Susan is talking about, let's go to the first one. I'm trying to think if we have a Kokon pink. I think you do. But I don't know about the mohair. Yeah. They're using a solid. They're not using the speckled mohair. mohair. They're using a solid, solid mohair is what it looks like. This one here is Verba Volant, Deep Bump, and Close Call. So this is a softer, more... I guess you could say orange to green pastel. Very pretty. This one is Salty Dog. That's a nice one. Uh, Deep Bump. Bump and Lathe, which Beautiful. is nice. Right? Yes. 
They're referring to the scout shawl. So that would be in March. She's in the middle of moving. Um, Florence is moving. So if you're all interested, I can certainly contact her. She said oh, that she would definitely do it. Shawl, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the it last, would be over Zoom. Sorry. It would be a Zoom. Yeah. yeah. And this would be Family Jewels, Telltale Heart, and Ghost Ranch. Look at Ghost Ranch. That's a pretty one. This is a pretty one. I like the way the colors play off of one another. Very nice. So anyway, there are some shift cat kits that we restocked because you always have to have a shift kit. Can I ask you a question? Yes. In doing the shifts, yes. since I still have never made one, <laughs> um, is it like the scout shawl? You pick contrast colors? Like, does she tell yeah, you how to? No, she doesn't tell you where to put the colors. Well, again, you you got me the, and I don't remember right now, you brought back the kit for when you were in Scotland. And it was the Meadows, Lathe, and the Castle, right? Isn't yes. that what it was? Mm-hmm. And which kind of looks different than what they look like now. Right. I mean, so they're it never look exactly look like my kit. Um, but I don't recall her telling me which was A, which was B, which was C. Because I just, just followed picked. the pattern. Right, right. So right. you picked your own. Right. What I found is, the, and the way it works, it gets wider and then it, whatever the shape is. And then you sew a seam of about this big at the end. And the one point that you start with, because it goes like this, is it goes right in the back, back there. So I found when I did mine, that color is repeated down towards the bottom in the slip stitching. Okay, but do all the colors play with one another? Like there are three no, colors. No, 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 no. It's like either it's maybe A and C and then A and B and then it might be B and C. So they do all it's play con- with each other. Yeah, oh, I thought you meant it at, at the same time. No, no. meaning so A is paired yeah. with everything, B is paired with everything. Right, it C. goes back and forth. Yeah. I don't even know if there's a pattern to it that you could figure out a pattern, but I mean, it's very well written. All you have to do is follow what she says. The only thing you need to do is assign which a, color B, is A, B, and C. And I always found I, gotta do that. I like to start with, if there's a, like if you were doing, for instance, say I was doing this kit, I would start with this as my A. Because my colors were shades of green, right? With they, a few right. other colors in it, you like know, pastels like yes. and whatever. Mm-hmm. So I went. It's funny, this reminds me of the meadow for some reason. It could. You could, yeah. And you could put that late? with it. This is Leith, and that's, that's one. melancholy. Oh, this Leith is, is very similar. I just had it. Oh, there it is. That's Leith, right? There. But you see how similar they are. Yeah, Two different very. colors. Yeah. So anyway, I would I like would do here. like A, B, and C if I were doing it, because what's going to happen is this is going to come in and play with this towards the end. Probably it doesn't make a difference. You could do whatever you want. So is one more <laughs> predominant than the other when laying them out? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. But one thing I will say is the color you start with, again, is going to be down here. So even though you're going like darker to light, it really doesn't look that way. If I showed you my shift, you wouldn't say, "Oh, you went dark to light." You wouldn't. Right. There's wouldn't no way it. to really. You wouldn't see it. So in other words, there's no way to really track the way your color. But what I go. liked was that the dark color, when it came towards the end, it was back in there a little bit. Although I'd used most of it up, and I gave a nice little detail. That's why I like that. But there you have it. It's just me. You could do whatever you want. I, have we seen a shift we haven't liked? No. No. Did you sell the ones that had the devilish grin in it? You did. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> you did. Okay. So we had I'm two. noticing they're not here anymore. No. So we had two you, kids. You should show them. I'll, I'm going to get it. It's right behind you. Too I funny. See it. What was it? Devilish grin. Devilish. I don't remember what was with it. What I had think, nostalgia or lace with it? I think lace was with one of them. No, they were salty exactly. Dog. The, we had salty dog or something. I, I thought it was sugar high. I don't remember. Sugar, sugar high, was high and the family them. jewels. Sure. So we had sugar. So devilish grin. These two are devilish grin. Believe it or not, it's the same color. <laughs> Crazy. So we made two identical kits in name, uh-huh. but yet they look very different. Yeah. So it's interesting how they both sold, and it was because, just a plain yeah, color. That is so yeah. funny, isn't that funny? I thought they were fabulous kits. That's great. Anyway, so that's a nice pop of color. So those are the shifts. They're yep. back in stock. Yep. And, you know, if there's a color that you don't see or sold out, by all means, reach out. We could see if we can replicate it. Did this have minis? It did. Oh, they're here. They're there. Okay. We have so much yarn on the table. That's the uh, matter. <laughs> the matter is that yep. goes with that. 
Okay, next up, we have with our delivery of the spot sweater mm -hmm. and Badger and Bloom, we also got Carmel by the Sea, which is a limited <laughs> star color. And I was able to snag 10 skeins. That's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. Tell them what it is, Dinah. It is DK weight. A DK weight. It's called Merino Cloud. Extra fine, 80% extra fine merino and 20% cashmere. It's got 437 yards. It's a long self-striping staple yarn. It makes no what? I was thinking of socks with them, but you know, cashmere socks. Only 20%. I wouldn't mind this on my feet. It feels <laughs> kind of nice. Be a nice sock, right? <laughs> it would be a great sock yarn. Uh, what can I tell you? There are several patterns out there. You'll find some available on Ravelry. When you, you buy one. them on Ravelry? Well, I didn't think they This were. one that we're about to show you, Carmel, um, the Carmel by the Seashawl, is a free pattern with purchase, and it was designed by Ira Schreier. That takes one skein of this self-striping yarn. <clears throat> a lot of you, um, I think she has a beautiful pattern, Iris, which is also available with purchase. If you buy the yarn to knit up, I don't know if you know the butterfly shawl. By what's her name? By that other woman? Yes. So Iris has her own variation of it, both in a triangular and a rectangular shawl. Uh, let's see if I can pull it up. It's on her website. Let me get that. I'll pull it up. Maybe you could show them the other shawl in the meantime. The other shawl we have is called the Caramel Cocoa. And it looks like this. Let me see what I'm showing you. And it uses also one skein of the um, Caramel by the Sea, but it also uses one skein of a contrast color. Now, clearly the contrast color, I guess in this, must be the turquoise at the bottom, right, Dan? I would think it's the turquoise yes. at the bottom. Yes. So okay, if you notice, there's a turquoise at the bottom. We paired it with black. And because that would be a lovely combination, and you could do something like that. And now the caramel cocoa, again, these are patterns that are. Um, did you get this on Ravel? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yes, Carmel Cocoa is available for sale on Ravelry, so you can always just purchase the one skein of Merino Cloud. You don't need to buy the kit. If you want a teal accent, a blue accent, a purple or neon pink, you can always dive into your stash. I think it only calls for 110 yards. 110 yards, correct. This was the mood board oh, for the inspiration oh, for nice. Carmel by the State. I like that. Uh, let's That's a great see. picture. Then we have her design. There was a cowl. Sorry, guys, I'm not. Uh, I guess I'm not that prepared, am I? <laughs> it's so funny, Pam. What is the name of the pattern you're wearing? I am wearing the Chaka C H. That's why I say it C H A I K A from Midori Hiroshi. Did I say that right? Yeah. And, and I used Kokan Aaron weight. I think I used, go ahead, you tell them, Diane. I'm going to look up how much I used. Oh, okay. This is a, a picture of the variation of the shawl. It's similar to the oh, that's butterfly pretty. shawl. What is that? This is what Irish shawl is that? This is her variation. So it's a different take on it. She doesn't have the butterfly going throughout, but here you can see the pretty. I like that. Uh, self-striping yarn with the solid. And where's that pattern? What is that called? This you get free, I believe, with purchase. So contact me if you're interested. It's uh, the Inspiration Club. I, I wish I knew more about it. I probably should not be. Well, we were promoting these. You know, the thing is, there's not just one thing you can do with the yarn. There's several things. So it's... There are a lot of patterns that are available. But they're not, on, they're not all on Ravelry, though. No. That's the issue. Right. I'm wondering if I go to my Dropbox, maybe they're there. You think so? Okay, so on my sweater, I did luckily put in how much yarn I used. <laughs> Yay, Pammy. Yay, for a change. Um, four skeins. Four skeins, I guess that's all I used. And I did the extra small medium. Probably then it's media, at large, extra large. I did the extra small medium. And tie dye. I wonder if I used. Um, 
I may need, did I need to go into the fifth skein? I said, I might need to go into the fifth skein. I added an inch longer and I didn't say if I went into the fifth skein or not. Probably not. I didn't find it. Break it down. That's very pretty. I found it. Okay. It's called the Neon Knit Along. Here it is. It's a triangular version. And then you also have oh, the rectangular. Yes, yeah, the rectangular version. But that's not for, you would need more of the, the contrast color if you did that. Yes. Right. So if you were interested in something like that, which is called, again, the Neon Rectangle and Triangle version. It was her knit along, and it takes one skein of the merino cloud, Carmel by the Sea, and one skein of solid merino. So it's basically a solid and a self striping for both. Yeah, and I did make the sleeves a little longer, believe it or not. My gauge must have been off because I mean, I can't imagine the sleeves would be an inch shorter than this. Maybe they will, maybe they will like to hear. I don't know. But believe it or not, Diana, I made this sweater. How many years ago? 2019. Wow. September 1st, I started, and September 24th, I finished. That was a quick knit, Pam. Yes, I'm impressing myself. Wow. <laughs> what happened to I me? I am impressed. I am very impressed. <laughs> well, maybe I didn't have as many projects at that time. <laughs> I couldn't believe that Kudos myself. To when you. I saw That's that. awesome. Anyway, so that is the Carmel by the Sea, right? Yes. Anne Marie Fitzpatrick, Tribe Yarns, use that yarn for sleeves with a gray body. Very cool. Somebody mentioned that this to year? me, Anne Marie. It was gorgeous. Mm. I don't know the name of that sweater. Hmm. Let me see if I could pull it up. That was a beauty. Beauty. Um, that would be a nice way to use it, too. Oh, it was gorgeous. That's top. Um, I can't remember what it is now. I'm never going to remember. Here she is. She looks great. Oh, that's nice. I like Look that. Look at that. Stunning. What's that sweater called? <clears throat> what a handy layer. This is my version of Snow Pine by Woolen Pine Design. Oh, Woolen she didn't do, oh, interesting. She didn't do the dots. She didn't do the dots. I love that. It's now, basically that a raglan do. sweater. That I Look would do. at those hot what the pattern again? I'm going to bring it up so I can see the Snow difference. Pine. Snow so Pine. So different. I do like Snow Pine. We've I talked know, about Snow Pine. I know, but I like this version. I like that better. <laughs> Anne Marie, good call. Absolutely <laughs> good great for call. you, Anne Marie. Very nice. So different. It is. It's very, it's beautiful. So you could just pick a basic yarn for the body. Is it one word, Snow Pine? Yes. I will and Pine. I put it in as two. Ravelry. You know Ravelry. You put it in exactly. I put it in as two. <laughs> just so. <laughs> Thinky. Here it is. Here it is. So this is the original. And then let me pull. Yeah, please. She's got like 39 pictures. So this is one variation. This is a close-up of the sleeve. So basically. It's got color. I want it's a good got picture color though, work. where they can see it. There you go. I think that's a good one. Yeah. No, because the sleeves don't show the color work there. Hold on. This is a better That's one. That's a good one. Okay, here we go. Sit tight. So for this version, it's one yarn that's self-striping for the sleeves and then a main collar for the body. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I have okay, to make have to that. I have to make that. This here is color work where you have two colors, a um, main color and a contrast color and in the body. And, and then the reversed. inverse for the sleeves. But the silhouette Super of the cute. sweater is lovely. It is. It's mm -hmm. The raglan, which is always complimenting. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Oh, and Marie, you're fabulous for finding that. Thank you for pointing that out. That was a good one. And it says it's um, plenty of ease, two to eight inches of positive ease. So you could make it as on this, this particular sweater we're talking about. I like that. I think I'm going to have to snag one of these skeins. Yeah, so, I'm guys, there's yeah. only nine left. <laughs> well, there may be eight because I may <laughs> take one of them too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. I need to remove them from the oh, website. That's so funny, Diana. Oh, my goodness. Anne-Marie, you're a very bad influence, Anne-Marie. Um, with that being said, the last thing we have to show you is this seal. The seal slipover. It's a new pattern from Petite Knits. I've been watching her as she gave birth and was knitting this. I mean, she's incredible. <laughs> she's gave birth on the bathroom floor with her kids around her. Yeah, exactly. And, and like, she's like in her jeans, and, and she's in her jeans, and she's like day. knitting. Yeah, <laughs> remarkable. No wonder she has so many kids. Anyway, it's got a great um, 
just different, you know, textured stitch pattern. It, they call it the seal slip over. And it's used holding two strands of fingering together. Now, of course, you could always, and which makes a decay in the pattern. So I guess if you had a decay, you could do that. What we did, you okay, Sorry. Diana? Yeah, I just have to step away. From is we paired uh, Sunday, <laughs> which is a fingering weight yarn from her together. And um, this is, it's about 255 yards in a skein. And it is a, I'm just looking, to, it's 100%. I believe it's a non-super wash, right, Diana, this yarn? Yeah. 100% wool. Uh, it's a lovely yarn. And we, I have the sizes here. It goes from extra small to 2XL. And um, I believe it's meant to be worn with two to four inches of positive ease. And this extra small has a finished bust of 36 and a quarter. And the largest goes up to 58 and a quarter. If I was making this for myself, I would probably do the 42 and a half or the 45. Again, I don't know. <laughs> this is the one I was referring to. With the but, up. Yeah, but we kitted it with seven skeins of Sunday. And, we, and with the seven skeins, of course, the extra small and small might use one less or whatever it is. But the anywhere from the medium to the large to the extra large would use seven. And that would be a finished of 41 through about 46. Right. Now we have found knitting the petite knit designs. Right. She always pads her patterns. Right. But don't hold us to it because this might be the one that you need an extra skein. And I will say another thing she does. She'll say, you know, you need any, you need eight to nine skeins. She always so has a it's range. a wide, and when you have 255 yards in a skein, that's a big range. There's a, that's a big range. So even the 50 and a half, she says, whatever she says, because we, we're using a different yarn, but um, it says seven to eight skeins. But the reality is it's seven when you do the math on it. If you had seven of these, you would need 7.07. Which really, to do the I mean, 50, I it the 50 inch bus. So I'm tending to think that you could probably do the 50 and a half with the seven skeins as well. Although we want to, in full disclosure, you know, point out that's on you what it is. <laughs> Cause I know when I did the anchor for the 0.07, I might eliminate one round in the rib. Correct. The bottom, correct. You know, correct, or, but I think what you should do is go online and look at, look at the pattern, look at the measurements that she gives you. And how you many know, projects are there? There weren't many. I think there well, were. Well, she tends to do that. To 10, like publish. Maybe 10. I'm not sure. Right away. Hmm. Right, keep you posted there. Right. Exactly. Anyway, it's a beautiful pattern. Mm -hmm. Cute in line with this, um, the vests, a great layering piece. And you could always make Certainly, it longer if you want to. Yes, a quick knit. Susan was asking, um, one skein would do both sleeves. Oh, Susan, I know you're getting that. <laughs> One I know, Susan. I'm just, for the record, I just went <laughs> and changed it. Is that what you did? <laughs> I took two Dog. off. <laughs> Dog. No, I never do that. That's one I'm going to be Is sorry. that fingering weight? That's fingering weight, right? This? Yeah. The oh, it's DK. It it's DK. DK. I wonder what the DK. I'm it's already like thinking. I'm already DK. thinking. It's gorgeous. <laughs> sorry. Okay. S-I-L-L-E. Let me look this Just up. tell me what day you wear it. I didn't knit it yet. I just need to have it. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh, and I'm I sorry, didn't. I'm late. Very so pretty. Well, okay. So how many projects? There are ten. You yeah, were right. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, ten projects. And again, she's Lots using ideas. two fingerings equaling a DK. There are so many choices that you could use. I mean, we contemplated doing it in double Sunday, which is just a DK weight yarn. Um, I think someone knitted in Retrosario, which is a sport weight. Correct. And, and they added a motor to it. You could use fennel. You could use fennel and add a mohair. Right. It doesn't necessarily have to be. And so the choices are, there are quite a few. So you may have fern at home. Maybe you have a mohair and you just want to pair it with something else. Right. We went for a non-mohair option. We've been doing a lot of mohair lately. Correct. Correct, correct. So anyway, so that was the hi from Staten Island. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. South Shore or North Shore of Staten Island. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to someone recently who said she grew up on the North Shore of Staten Island. I believe that's what she said. I never realized there was that much of a difference, but 
Meryl is saying wool and pine. Yes, they have some really nice patterns. We really featured do. Ponderosa last week. Yes, wool and pine. that's a beauty too. Which is another great top. She has another one that I'd love to make. It's called Pre I guess I Chromatic? Chromatic? Prismatic? Prismatic? It's chromatic or prismatic? Love it. It's got like a um, um, color work yoke, but it almost looks like it's got the main color intersecting it and almost looks like it's a um, uh, a prism. I'm, just looking at I'm it. trying to find it. I'll yep. find it. Scroll down a little bit more. I'm a looking. Prismatic. It is, yeah. Is that gorgeous? Look at that. Make it bigger. Go to the middle. Uh, but there's some it? of them with the contrast colors. And she has a whole the thing I like about Woolen Pine. She has a whole video she on how you pick videos. the colors, which is great. She has a great video on that sweater, which I watched on how to pick the colors. Here's another one. Susan, That's here's great. some color inspiration for you. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that one. It reminds me of like a, like if you're looking at a prism, those little, what is it called? Is it prismatic? What? Yeah, but look at that. It's hearts. Is that what it is? I mean, I see hearts. Does anyone else see hearts? Is it me? Isn't that great for color work? That looks like so much fun. Do you see fun. the bottom row of hearts or is it me? It does look like there are hearts. Are they V's or hearts? It looks like hearts to me. I don't know. Someone says, I have knitted that. And it is stunning. Nicole, you have to share. Send us a picture. Wait, you knit this, the prismatic? Did you tell someone, you, who's bringing that up? Did you decide what to do with your sea glass? <laughs> Me? <laughs> I, you know, I, I put aborted. it aside because it was a summer top. And I will be very honest with you. I was doing the crochet version. And Yours the, was fine. And the I technique aborted. I knew, the, te the crochet technique I had kind of from doing it but it is very labor for me it was labor intensive it really was i don't mind labor intensive i just don't like when i put in the well, labor and i don't like the way it looks i will also tell you i had to rip back three quarters of it because when i joined it i was not in the same spot i wasn't marking it correctly and so i like ripped it pole? yeah not even, it was just it, but so now, and every time I'm on Instagram and that sweater comes up and it comes up all the time. It's like on the top page. I am. I think. It's yes. On number one right yeah, now. Well, it's like I, on the first page. It is a fabulous, fabulous. I probably feel that if I were knitting it, I could do it faster than crocheting it. I'll be very honest with you. I really think I could. I might rip back and do my do a hat. The hat. They have the hat. Yes. And I also told Diana, yeah. they also came up with a technique on that recently because part of the issue you had was the ends. But what they said now is leave your ends and there's a fair isle technique, an old Braiding. fair isle like, <laughs> like where you can braid your ends and you don't feel it when you're wearing the sweater and several people did it. Siegley's can't, can't bear to frog, can't bear to continue. Well, Lorian, I'm with you. <laughs> I did not. Exactly I frogged it. I probably have like this much done. I'd have to figure out how to. Um, but you know what bothered me the most with that? Undo my ends. You bothered me the most about that was deciding what color to goes next. That was giving me such angst. Lorian, we need a rip and bitch session. <laughs> I, it is a fun, fun thing to do. I liked picking out the colors. Correct. I love the way my I colors I had so look. much time. I had two months vested in that last year. And what I would do is I would keep it out. It was so always there, and I would say, I'm going to keep it out, and I'm going to do a round. But what would happen with it is you'd do a round, and you'd want to do another round. It's addicting. And next thing you know, it's true. Your, all, your whole night's knitting went into doing that, but it really was a fun knit. It was a fun knit. You know, you had to get, with crochet, you had to get the right hook, the right, thank God you gave me those hooks, Dinah, the right tension, you know. You I need a pointy hook. Every time I see it, whether I see the hat, now they have, know, a DK, they have a DK version now. Maybe maybe that's the one that's on the other one. Probably. On the first probably, yeah. All right. What is she saying? We do. I love the fabric. Love the colors. Can't cut every round. I have a new plan. Are you doing the crochet, Lorian? Are you doing the knit? 
She was doing the knit version. She was. I believe okay. so. Yeah. She was doing well, the did you one. see the the video that they did on braiding the ends on the inside? That was clever. I have to say, that would be a reason to like possibly, you know what? I should put it back on. You should. Because if it's high enough that my hair, well, my hair's not long enough yet. But since I'm growing it out, if it covers. <laughs> if it covers the, the yeah. thing. Well, if. I'm sure that I think what happened was when I saw her doing the video, she was saying that she, I get, listen, probably people were saying the ends were scotch and she was trying to come up with a solution Another technique. and she had this thought to braid it. And she said, oh, I bad. never realized that there was an old technique where you would do this. It's clever. Definitely right. clever. So, yeah, well, I, I love that. What was that sweater called? Did you say it was called prismatic or chromatic? Prismatic. Prismatic. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, what was that one called? I just looked up snow pine. Yes. Snow pine. Lovely. That's a good one. Oh. This would be fabulous. I might have to do it with black as the center. Yes. I, I think, think I'm going to, I would do gray. It's so pretty. Or you could do navy. No, the gray is also very pretty. The gray is pretty did too. It. It's yeah. like sweatshirty, right? It's fun. It's very pretty. All right, you guys. <laughs> I think that's it. We covered a lot. Oh, it's been a long too time. Too much stuff. Too much stuff. I can't believe that every week we get on and every week we can talk for an hour. I'm yeah. always amazed. Well, I'm surprised we could talk for more than that. I do have to say thank you to everyone who left me comments and names. I was thinking about including Rose uh, in the title. And then I thought about all those people who really didn't know the story. Maybe it wouldn't translate. So we were just trying to come up with a name that meant a little bit more or could be more universal to everyone. Someone is saying, where can I find the video for the braid technique? And Lorian is saying, well, yes, Valentine. she did the knit version. Mm -hmm. She saw the video. For me, it's the cutting. What do you mean it's the cutting? You don't want to well, cut. Well, you leave, but you cut and then you braid the ends. If you want to know where it is, you could go on um, Woolen Pine's Instagram account. It's and in it, her story. Probably in her highlights, highlights she has it. Stories. Highlights. Although she also does have, um, she does a lot of YouTube videos. So you could look on her YouTube video. I don't know if she put that on YouTube, but Fabulous probably videos. definitely in her. Yeah. Worth following them. Worth looking at all their highlights. They have a they do an incredible job. And she had a just she was doing she was doing something the other day. I forget which pattern it was, but it was lace. And she was doing this like double decrease, but it was she showed how she did it. And she Welcome. slipped the stitches and then she slipped them back and then she slipped them again. <laughs> so to do this this um, center double decrease. Yeah, but it was in lace work. I, I forget which pen, but she's just her videos are great. She's yeah. clear. She's um and I like when she does the color, the color ones to, to pick your I color. just like watching her knit. And she's, she's, she's so graceful and very fast. She's very fast. She's very <laughs> Don't fast. get intimidated. You don't have to be that speedy. Yeah, I could watch her video. I could yeah. watch. I could spend the night watching her videos. I really could. So you didn't even ask me what my husband got me for my birthday. Oh, I didn't. Well, you know me. I, what did you get you for your birthday? Let me guess. Would I guess? Would I guess? Did I tell you? Would I be able to? No, you didn't tell. Would I be able to? Yes, you did tell me. Wait a second. It's coming to me. You did tell me. What did you tell me about your food birthday? What did he get you? A hat crank. Did you say a hat crank? Did you? You said you got. No, you said she you hat crank, but you didn't say he gave it to you. He did. He gave it to you. That's nice. He ordered it from Germany. The Scassell. Oh, good. The Scassell one. Yes. I told but him you I wanted a knitting hats. machine. You <laughs> The wrong one. Get the wrong one. <laughs> now I'm going to crank out. Half. Can you return it and get to the Germany? one that does socks? They do have one where I think you can do socks. From Scassel? I'm not sure. No, that's you a different know, company. Again, I looked them up. I looked it oh, up and, and I saw like they reviewed all these different machines, but there are certain ones that, you know, if you don't, if you have 48 things, you can't make socks. Unless maybe you make 48, 48 stitches. This had a lot. It had a lot of stitches? Mm hmm. I didn't open okay, it. Yet. Maybe you can do more than a. Maybe we'll have to you do a show and tell. You should look it up, Diana. Apparently, which one I could did do, you get? This it's from Scassell. What's it called? You just said it. Scassell. You had another name to it. No? no, I called it a hat crank, but it's like a knitting machine. No, didn't. Okay, it, it looks like words. it's. No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I could probably find it on Instagram. I thought that anyway. Scassell had two of them, but I don't know. I don't know now, but. The Urbach is the one you want. 
that's for socks. But yeah. this has this is more stitches and probably and you could probably gauge. do other things other than hats. He claims I can do panels. I'm like, what am I going to do with the panel? Oh, make a panel. Yeah. I'm going to sew panels together. No, clearly he's <laughs> never done that. <laughs> I don't know. How do you guys feel about a knitting machine? Mm. I was watching Chelsea do. Oh, she has one. She, she, she has, the, she, I want to has... say Cento, Cento. She has one. It's like a plastic. The one you have is, is the one up. she has, I think is like $60. I can't but wear the one that you have Stay is... tuned, Anne-Marie. <laughs> Stay tuned. The one that you have is the, a nicer one, the one that he got you. Um, but she was making hats. And what she did was she cranked it. And then it goes inside of each other. It goes inside. Oh, that's like the, uh, what hat did Kate make? Musselberg? Musselberg, but yeah, but this is, she was using DK White. So, I mean, which is so nice, but if I were going to do it, I would want, that would be gorgeous. Yeah. That would be nice. Okay. Let's this do is a Musselberg, I, guys. It's called Addy Forget Express. everything we told you prior. <laughs> I do this. What is it? Snow Pine? Snow Pine and the Musselberg. She, oh, someone, she likes knitting hand. I know. Me too. Sweet skein of mine has been making great hats with the machine you, you discuss. Yes, 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 yes. I know that tends to be a trend right now. People are cranking out hats and things. I can't imagine using this. I really can't. 48 isn't it. enough for socks. Correct. It's not enough for socks. Right. So I didn't bring it, but I finally cast on Sophie's socks. Good. What pattern are you doing? So, you know, North Fork Cozy, she had told me that there were two socks that she uses. She had done a... Yes, her, yes, yeah. Her finished socks were ripped sock. And she said she did, She loves her... Her favorite is a combination of sock exploration, both mm -hmm, socks, and mm -hmm. then the crop socks, whatever. The sh yeah, the shorter one, the shadow the short. wrap. She does a shadow wrap, doesn't she? So those are the two that she faves. But I do want... Like, I was trying to mimic her rib. So I think what I'm going to do is the trusty toe up by Tannis. Yep. Using 64 stitches because Sophie's that, got like a size eight, eight and a half foot. That makes sense. And then I'm going to do a three by one rib once I get past the toe in the main color. So when you get up past the toe or I'm starting at the toe. And, and once you finish the toe, you're going to go. Now, remember when you do that three, one rib, you don't do it on the bottom of the foot. It's only on the top of the foot. Why? Because you don't want to have to step on that. Trust me. <laughs> Do you wear yours? No, trust me, because when I made my socks, I was I kept going around, and then I realized, wait a second, this isn't right. And then but I looked I don't it think up. I can really feel it. Go, you go look up people who make them, and they you'll see that like it's it. stuck in it on the bottom. Okay. You don't put the pattern on. I guess you could. You could do anything you want, but. You know. I mean, so, so wait a second. Thirty-two stitches is still thirty-two and thirty-two. Yeah, so I could still do thirty-two that. are in the rib and, and thirty-two are in the leg. In I would do the, the whole three, thing goes around, right, right. past the heel. Right. Once I join, correct. Okay, I could do that. Right, right. Because when I then then I stopped and I looked at people who did the three-one, and it was not on the bottom. Of the you know, I don't even think it's not a matter of it showing. Not showing, it's how it feels like when you're stepping on it. But no, but I'm doing the rib because of how it would feel. I don't want it to be loose in her shoe. Right. I will say, though, that remember when I did mine, again, I did 50, 56 stitches. I think I did 54 stitches, 50, 54, 56, do, whatever. I, I did in the 50s. And I did the 3 1. And because I did the 3 1, the sock looked so much skinnier. But I was like, this is crazy. But when I blocked it, when I it, it was beautiful. Beautiful. Fabulous. Beautiful. Great. I will say. Have I worn them? No. I need the right shoes. I'm going to buy some shoes. They don't wear, I can't wear them with my clogs because my plaid knit clogs, it's like fights. I don't have solid clogs. You need solid clogs. Right. I could have worn them with my short boots today, but anyway, I'll figure it out. All right, everyone. Is enough, that a wrap? Enough sock talk. Sock, sock talk. Sock talk. Talk, 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 talk. talk. <laughs> everybody right, shadow everyone. wrap heel has changed my sock knitting yes 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 and i love it you know she's also that's earth tone girls yes girl she's also lovely to listen to on her she's very her podcast. She's got, yeah you know i noticed i just got a notification also, that she had a new, new one, one that came out 
Yeah, she's very easy and pl- it's very pleasant. To see I like her. that she does everything in real time. Yes, I like <laughs> that. I do like that. Right? I do like that. I'm going to do this in real time. Right. And like, she's chit she chatting. I, like she's I love that. Because <laughs> usually I'm pausing, stop, go. Yeah. I'm able to just keep up with her. Right, so that's always right, very nice. Right. Anyway, it's time to go. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Please don't forget to hit subscribe. I think we're going to have a giveaway soon. I think I'm approaching yeah, you're 10, approaching 10,000 Instagram followers. That's crazy. You got to do that. How many do you have then? Click one second, guys, before we go. Let's, I don't know, but you guys are incredible. Let's see what she has. Let's see what she has. So if you don't follow us, give Pam and myself a follow. Follow us on um, YouTube. Hit the subscribe. Oh, look at this so, 9932. Getting there. So she needs 68 more followers to break 10. What should we give away? <laughs> Well, that I don't know. That you have to just select. leave a comment. <laughs> what would you like? What would you away? like me to give away? I love gifting, so I'm up for anything. So give me, uh, throw me some ideas, and we'll try to come up with something to give away. Sweet skein of mine has been making yes. great hats with the machine you that are Chelsea is using. Really, that she's using or Chelsea's using the machine that I'm describing. So it might be mine. Ooh. Awesome. I'll have to check. Mm -hmm. all right everyone have a wonderful evening thanks for joining us sorry see you next week bye